category. So I would like to ask Mr. Heiko Prost to join us on this stage, and he's from the, from the Foundation for Environmental Education. It is so wonderful to have all these educated people in front of me. You all know how important education is. Perhaps some of you have a good remembrance of schools. That is not every time the idea. But if every day a girl or a boy does something in environmental work, we can change the world. So, as an old educator, I'm happy to have here um, 16 actions that we had uh, as a choice. And uh, uh, it was really wonderful to work in the jury and uh, happy to decide because uh, um, as you already told, all are winners, winners for the environment. So, uh, we have uh, the Ecobec School Tont uh, Contest. Normally, in my home country, they give, give you at the supermarket plastic bags. Perhaps they cost even uh, uh, 10 or 20 cents not recy uh, recyclable. Better way is to have these cotton bags. But uh, look at these bags. How wonderful, how trendy, how modern they are. <laughs> that is much better. And boys and girls alike to have these bags. So, uh, this was uh, a wonderful example from uh, Portugal. Scotland, we have two finalists uh, for Food Waste Reduction Challenge. The, this primary school from uh, Scotland uh, does the work of food waste reduction, not only in the canteen at the school, they don't bring wrapped food to school, they put it, they bring it in little boxes. So, a wonderful example, and especially I must uh, <laughs> point out this green flag, this is a uh, flag given to 65 countries all over the world running this Echo School program and the communication between the countries we all know is very important. And we have here also, again, the reduction of food waste in school restaurants. I don't speak Swedish, but every one of you understands what that means 500 kilo, kilograms for ye, in a year is used uh, for one person. So it's absolutely necessary to reduce food waste in school restaurants. Plastic spoons, here we have metal spoons, that is much nicer. <laughs> That is not helpful if you have plastic material in school canteens. So, a wonderful example from Sweden. Here are the three winners. Is someone here from Portugal? So, from the first, from the Ecobank school contest? I know it's very far to travel from Portugal to here, yeah. but... Uh, Somebody from uh, Scotland or for Britain? Yes? Hello? <laughs> and someone from Sweden? <laughs> there in the back. Sweden. And 
so we're ready for the envelope. We're ready to know who's the final winner. I learned an incredible amount from my children about the environment. Children always ask the uh, most difficult questions. So the winner of the winners in the category for educational establishment is St Mary's Dunblane in Scotland. Scotland <laughs> for alerting us to the project and I'm happy to stand. Okay. <laughs> uh, for, alerting, <laughs> for alerting us to the project, telling us about uh, telling us all about it and getting us getting us involved back in the end of last year. The project was fairly straightforward. The children have been concerned for some time about the amount of waste, food and packaging that we were producing every day at our lunch times and the children decided that as a rights respecting school we had a right to nourishing food but we were fortunate enough to have so many lovely meals and packed lunches have responsibility not to waste that food and as you said starting with the children makes such a difference and we are trying to do a little thing change attitudes make our children more responsible citizens and to appreciate that our society doesn't have to be a disposable society we can appreciate what we have and think to the future. So thank you very much for this. It's been a, I've had a fantastic day in this lovely city, and this just, <laughs> I had a lovely day anyway, but this has been a really, really good day. <laughs> so thank you very much to Ways of Scotland for making us aware of the project, and thank you to the judges for your wise decision. <laughs> Same question I asked to the, the French project over there. Uh, how did the parents react? Because children are usually easy to convince, but uh, when it comes to stuff that parents are supposed to do, how do they react? Well, the, 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 our, we're very fortunate. We have very supportive parents who are willing to become involved in the school. But one of the angles of the project was to point out to parents just how much money they could save if you buy a little carton of apples which have been pre-cut that's 45 pence. If you buy an apple, that's 25 pence. So then the children worked out how much families could save over a week, a month, and then a year. And that's part of encouraging people that it will, it, it's definitely worthwhile. Well, good. That was part of it. <laughs> good, good luck, go on. <laughs> Thank you, congratulations. congratulations.